Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good wherever you are. Let's have a look at the flip box. My name is JP, and remember to give this video a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I have this info section here or services. This is very common standard on any website. Let's give it a little bit of animation, sparkle, and I'll do that with the flip box. Go to the add elements and under content, you will find flip box here at the bottom. Click, hold and drag. And already because I have three columns here, I'll just drop this within this column. But in many cases, I would have created the columns I needed. What's important to understand is that the flip box is a container. And that means that you can bring other elements into it. You can also bring columns into it. This is what we've got here. I'm going to grab this element here and simply drag it in. I do like this design that I've created here. And I'll put them in there. I'll click on this button, I'll delete it, and also this text element. Now that we've got this in, let's style it out. I'll go to the settings. First thing I'll do is change the color of the box. Let's give it a different color. I'll bring in another button, or at least a button. I'll drag the button in there. Let's go to the button settings, make that smaller, put it on the left, and find out more, find out more. Add a spacer there to give a little bit of separation between that call to action and the rest of the content. For the sizing, let's go to the column. Click on column styling and you can see it's set to 55 pixels. That's too much. Let's reduce it to 25 pixels on both the left and the right. Give it a little bit bigger. That's good. And now I'm going to bring in the content for the back. Go to the flip box settings and select this reverse, these two arrows, and this is what we have on the back. And again, you just style out the content. I'll click here on this one for the image, and this is the background image. Select. Let's go and change the color, something dark, and I'll reduce the opacity. Nice, and let's make this a download button. For example, if people click on that, they can download the brochure. I'll click on No Fill, then go to T for Typography and underline and let's select it and say download. If you want to, you can put an image in here. Again, all the elements can go in here. And now we have created this nice little flip box. Duplicate this, go to the settings of the column, and then I'll select duplicate and duplicate to have those three. Let's go to these guys and delete it. And now we have these three flip boxes next to each other. Transition is done by going to the settings of the flip box all the way to the left. And here we have the triggers, transition, the duration, as well as the speed of that transition. First, the trigger. Most cases you're going to use hover, but you can also select click. Let's leave it on hover for now. And then the transition is the style. So it's currently a flip. We can also slide it. And I think we should see that. Let's move it back. That is how it will look. That's for the push. Zoom in. And if we do that again, we have a push there. That's a little bit quick. So in this case, you have to increase the speed so you can actually see that push happening. There we go. Good. And here you just set it up to the way that you would like it. I'm going to stick with the push and direction. Let's go for up to make it a little bit different. Ooh. Nope. I think it's better to go for a right or a left in this case. Great. In fact, let's just go with the norm and stick to left. And that's how you set it up. You can change the different animations. So let's go for this one. We can put this one on slide, which is very similar. And let's do this one down. And then for this one, we can put the animation and the transition. What's here? Fade. Well, fade is a standard one. And then let's just increase the duration of the fade as well. Now that we have these flip boxes update, let's go and preview it on the front. And that essentially is what the flip box is. Here we go. Hover and it slides and I can download my document, put a nice PDF in there. This one is a, this one is a push, this one is a slide, and this one a nice fade. So let's have a look at how we can create an entire block using this flip box. Go to the bottom and I'll add a new block, create your own. And then what I'll do is I'll go and simply duplicate this one over here. And I'll drag it into this space over here. And there we have it. Let's add some padding to the flip box. We go to the settings, styling, and you can see all the content controls that we have. They are here. So I'll add some more padding. And then for the margins, I'll set that to zero. That is 39. So let's make it a nice 
round 40. And from here, we go to our block settings. So the first thing we'll do for the block is we'll put it on full. And then we go to the settings and styling and padding, and we put it on zero. And there we go. Now, with this selected, let's just go to our flip box over here. I just want to make sure it's on push currently, but I want the transition to be on zoom in, and I'll increase the speed to a second. Update. And we preview it. And now you have this entire block that when somebody hovers over it, you see it comes in with the content that you have in the flip box in the back and they can click on download content. Let's just see how this will look as well on tablet and mobile. And I'll hit the function key F12 on my keyboard to bring that up. And currently I am in an Asus ZenBook, but I'll go to iPad Pro and just scroll down to the bottom. And now you will have the click function and you will see it works as you were clicking on it. Nice. And let's do the same. Let's look for the Samsung Galaxy. And this is the one we have at the bottom. We'll have to do some responsive styling for it. Let's click on find out more and it slides in very nicely. And that is the flip box. Get all those alternates going, your hidden content and bring in a little bit of interaction with your customer. For more tutorials like this, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also give us a big like for this one. So press it three times so we can make sure that it's locked in properly. From my side, I'll see you in the next video.